And now with CBS2 Political Investigation. She was hired to crack down on police corruption in Harvey, but after only a few months on the job, Olivia Cobbins resigned, she says, in disgust. She talked exclusively to CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff about what she claims is rampant, ongoing misconduct. My passion is police reform. And that passion is why Olivia Cobbins says she signed on in August as the head of internal affairs for Harvey's police department. The former Chicago cop says she had Mayor Christopher Clark's blessing to clean up misconduct. But this week, with less than three months on the job, Cobbins handed in her letter of resignation. I couldn't stand in the position that I was in as a woman and as a police officer and see the level of corruption and misconduct in Harvey. I couldn't stay. In her letter, Cobbins focuses on an incident at Thornton Township High School in October. She says an officer came to her with allegations Harvey's deputy chief punched a handcuffed student in the chest. Cobbins says when she tried to investigate, police higher-ups blocked her from accessing evidence, including body cam video. And it wasn't the first time. This was more like the third time that my access was restricted. She also says a higher up laughed at her attempts to look into death threats against a Harvey police officer. When his cries for help were laughed at, I knew I couldn't stay. Clark beat longtime Harvey Mayor Eric Kellogg in 2019, promising to crack down on violence and police corruption. But Cobbins says, in her opinion, nothing's improving. If I don't stand up for the people that live in Harvey, no one will. We called and visited Harvey's police department and city hall. <laughs> The mayor didn't make himself available, but in a statement, city administrator Timothy Williams calls Cobbins claims vengeful utterances from an ex-employee who'd been facing termination and calling charges superiors impeded her investigation blatant lies. But Cobbins calls Harvey's reply blatantly untrue, and she says she's taken her concerns to the FBI and the U.S. Department of Justice. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.